Welcome to Kulik Family Farm. In this video, we are going to be giving you an update on our hydroponic fodder system. We made this system last March and we have just gotten things started up and running again for the next winter season. We're going to be discussing changes that we've made to the system as well as showing you how we get things set up. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you can follow along on our journey. system. What happens when you're too strong for your own good? You snap it. You snap stuff? That's really close. Well, it takes some water to fill the system. Too. Here you go.
One thing I did want to mention that we learned is that you should leave some spacing between the end of your seed row and the holes that are in the bottom for drainage of your trays because if you get the seeds too close, the roots will go through the holes and it'll stop up the system. So I tried to evenly disperse the seeds um, so they can kind of grow into a mat, but then hold together back far enough away from the drainage holes. So we'll still have good flow of the water from the top to the bottom. And I've got the four trays filled and we're gonna refill our soaking bucket with fresh seeds and we'll go rinse those and I'll get the pump going here. <music> So. Oh, you want me to? Okay, I'm interviewing you. Okay, yeah. so we are making a video to discuss what changes we have made to the fodder system um, from last year, which was our first year with this setup, to this year, and why we made the changes. So I guess the reason it kind of has taken us so long to get this one out is because we were gone over Christmas, and so we didn't want to start up the system before we knew we were going to be home for an extended period of time. So we started this, when did we start it, Greg? The 29th of December? 28th or 29th of December? And you started with what type of seed? What was that, winter wheat? Or just wheat, I think. Yeah, it was wheat. And then we started having issues. What kind yeah, of issues? Yeah, we had issues last year. The Colin. Hold on a second. The wheat doesn't germinate, I think, as fast. Um, and it doesn't grow this fast. And we were also experiencing issues with mold. Yeah. Because Greg noticed when we went back to um, the co-op that we purchased the seed from, when he ordered the barley, it specifically said that it was cleaned, right? Or something like well, that? Yeah. I don't, I don't know what all the reasoning is that it isn't germinating as good. Uh, some of the factors could be cold water, so we put a small aquatic water heater inside the tub that's plastic safe. Um, so we're going to start with that. We tried doing heat lamps, seemed to work pretty good on the trays. Heated up the trays and the seeds, um, but I think if we were just able to heat up the water, I think it would carry all the way through. Yeah, we are in our basement. And I've had a couple of people ask questions about if we feel like light is necessary for things to germinate. And we do have this big window here. So I can't say for sure what would happen yeah. if we didn't have the window. So I can't speak to All that. All the research says that technically in order for the seed to grow, or for barley specifically, is the one that I researched, in order for it to grow three to four inches with a two to two-ish inch root mat, it, all it needs is seven days with no light. It doesn't need any sunlight to get the nutrients to make it grow. Just regular H2O would be fine. So, and actually one of the videos that I watched on starting, uh, so up here we started our barley and field peas. They actually have a 24 hour soak in water and then uh, another 24 hour dry soak, which just means it just sits here. But you it's more can like a dry rest. Yeah, kind of soak. it's, you can see it's already starting to sprout, but we just throw, or I throw a, a cover on top of it to keep it dark to make it work harder. Why don't you show them what the field pea looks like before you soak it so that you can show them an example of how much it swells. Okay, so this is in order. 
This is a dry seed that has not soaked at all. This is soaking for, what is it like? It's like 20 hours right 20 now. 20 hours we're at. This is day two. This is on its dry rest yep. after soaking. And this is day three. Yep. And so this is the field peas. So and I, why, why did you add the field peas? Uh, honestly, it's because I saw somebody else do it in a YouTube video. But they said that it had a different type of nutrients in it. I'm not sure what kind of nutrients is different in it. But if it grows fast, that's good. And if it swells up, the whole point of it is obviously to save money. And if it's already expanding, what, three or four times, just the seed value. And then you're going to get another three inches of green and then another two inches of root. It'll be probably more than a one to seven pound ratio. I'm, it'd be interesting to see what it would come out to be. But. We just do 100 pounds of barley and 50 pounds of field peas in the tub, and then we just take four scoops in. Yes, and tonight we should weigh, because I had somebody ask um, what the weight is prior to soaking, and then when we get a tray that's completed, I'll take a measurement for him too. Okay, so the, the biggest change that I think I made was taking out the the slant in the trays. Um, basically, the whole reason is is we're getting dry spots in like this is a a six day tray of wheat of wheat, but none of it's not getting enough water. So I took the slant away, and now I don't know if you can reach this high. But now if you look, the top of them are, is now getting wet. So now, no matter where the seed is going to lay, it'll... Uh, so basically you're slowing down the drip because yeah. you've decreased the slope. Exactly. We did make a mistake. Um, we were trying to... I mean, I guess what was the reasoning of why we put the, the bigger holes in the trays? Because we made the holes in the bottom of the trays bigger. Oh, because the, this wheat seed is so small that it was blocking up the whole hole. So I went through and repunched them with nail, um, which now I kind of wish I didn't do that because then I could actually slow how much we're using the timer for. But I think it'll be fine the way it is now. And what is your timer currently set up at? What did you change it to? on, 45 minutes off. But I think I'm going to slow it down now that we'll be able to get... Because this is how a full mat should look. It's completely full, no dry spots. This was a tray that didn't have a slant on it at all. So that, that's how they all should look. They shouldn't have dry spots like this. Yeah, Which you can see in the back, it just started to go up onto the this little lip right there. So, I mean, I'm sure this tray is going to be shot, but all the other ones that we put in its place will will be good. Even this one, it's a little dry still, probably because I have a hole plug, but uh, it'll get better. I hope. Yeah, and we're kind of still in the transition point from the wheat over to barley and field peas, so. As you, I, mean, I don't know if you can catch all that, but. Just starting to sprout on day four. For the barley. For the barley, but adding in uh, yeah, the water one. heater, I think is gonna, gonna help. And we also, um, we've added in to our rotation, we're gonna change the water in the holding tank. I think we should do it twice a week because it does get pretty dirty. I just put a small amount of bleach in the 24 hours so to help kill off any of the bacteria before it goes in. It's supposed to be clean, but it's definitely not clean because still have the tops. The big debris is still in there, 
and I don't know what else could be in there, so. Oh, and some people were asking what kind of cups you use. These are just like a generic knockoff of the red Solo cups. We just had these on hand, so this is what we use. I believe it's 16 ounces, um, and we... We were doing four scoops, but since you added the field peas and they swell up so much, you went down to using three scoops, right? Which yeah, which was... covers four trays. Well, yeah, because the four scoops covered five trays, <laughs> which is why there's an extra that tray one's down there because the other four are up here, and these are maybe over full, but um, I think it'll be okay. All right. Go well, I think that's pretty well it. I mean, the major things are taking the slopes out, I guess adding a little bit of bleach to the 24-hour soak, um, switching from wheat just does not work for us here. I don't know. We're going to save it and overseed our pastures with it, so it's not going to really go to waste, but it's not working in our fodder system. Um, so we, we switched from wheat to barley and field peas. Um, we cut down the ratio because the field peas swelled up so much. Yeah. And adding the heater, I think it's... Adding the cool. heater to the water tank and changing the water scheduled in the reservoir twice a week to cut down on bacteria too. You can do an update in a week and whatever you know. Yeah, we can post another update. Or at least a picture. Something fast. <clears throat> well, we added in an extra jet. We did four jets per tray now. This is the only one I can really see because of the light. But, uh... Mm -hmm. Oh, and we did get a different timer. Oh, yeah. Because this one went by 15 minutes and the other one was only by half an hour. So this is... We just got it from Amazon. It was pretty cheap. Which we probably could have got away with our old half hour timer. Yeah. Because if this works good enough, we'll drop our time down to running every th or 30 minutes on and then maybe an hour off. Because it, it should take a while for all the water to get down to this side. Now that it's sitting flat. Well, I guess we do the technology. So. Alright, and if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments and we'll get back to you. couple of the things that we've modified on it so if you like it and want to follow along hit the like and subscribe button and follow us through the, the one year journey of the fodder system or something like that some people had said that they were using like a quarter cap of bleach on their seeds but i didn't really want to do that a quarter cap full oh, I... of bleach on their seeds I put bleach in the soap. Oh.